okay, so when you're working with clay, it's important to remember that it's going to create a little bit of dust as the clay dries. And we want to make sure that that dust doesn't get into the air. It's not very good for us to breathe in that dust. So we want to, any dust that's on the cloth or on our hands, we, we want to try to keep it from getting in the air. So we're not going to clap a lot. We're not going to shake our rags out. We're not going to blow on our desk to get the dust off. We'll wash that all off later. We're going to leave it for now. Okay? So the first thing you're going to do when you get your clay is you're going to roll it out. So we're using these as rolling pins. And you're just going to push down and roll it out. Push down and roll it the other direction. And you'll keep doing that from the inside out. So I'm starting in the middle and going in every direction. In the middle and I'm pushing out. And it might be easiest if you stand up while you're rolling it. Um, a lot of people find it easier if you can put a little more pressure on it. It rolls out a little faster, a little, a little smoother. One thing you're going to notice is that it's going to leave some lines in there from the ridges on this. And that is okay if it leaves some lines in there because you can smooth them out later. So I'm just going to keep going until it's pretty thin. Thin enough for my project today. And then when you start to get close, if you want to, you can turn it over too. So you can get the other side rolled out. You can see it's a little smoother on this side because it didn't have those ridges. Oops, it's starting to stick there. So I have to be careful now because it looks like my, my rolling pin is getting a little too moist and it's making the clay stick to it. So we want to try to avoid that. So just be careful with it. If it starts to stick too much, then you might have to switch to a different rolling pin. And just always make sure you're starting in that middle and working your way out. If you start on one side and go all the way across, a lot of times it'll kind of curl over it. So you can see now I have my clay pretty thin. You can see how thin it is. So now I'm ready for the next step. So to make it into the pendant shape or the magnet shape, um, you are going to take and just use a toilet paper tube, put it on there and press down. You can see it sticks in the bottom and I can just very gently squeeze in around the edges and it starts to loosen up and then I can get it out of there through the bottom. See, fell right out. So I have one right there. Um, you can work with a partner and you can do one together because you can see this is going to make lots of different shapes. Or um, you can make more than one from your own clay. So I'm just going to press it down and make my little pendants. So just because it's coming out as a circle doesn't necessarily mean you have to leave it a circle. You'll be able to change it a little bit um, as it goes, or as you make the final steps and you add your designs and stuff. But for now, that's all you need to do is just make the little circles, and you need, um, you should have at least one so that you can do your design, and then you can make more if you finish that one, or you can work with a partner and make a design together if you finish your first one.